Hey guys, it's Warrior Chick and welcome back to Dark Souls. So in the last video, we finally finished off the DLC, Artorias of the Abyss. And then when we finished that, we actually came back here and finally put in all of our Lord Souls into the Lord Vessel and this area opened up. Um, I was warned though before this video that if there was anything left that I'd want to do in the game that I should do that before heading into this next area, but I think I've decided that any of the areas or secrets that I kind of left untouched, um, I'm going to leave them for my next playthrough. I feel like we've done a lot in this series and I really do want to kind of have that motivation to kind of delve deeper into the game for my next playthrough. So. I guess now, without further ado, we can head into this next and what I believe is the final area of the game. Um, it's kind of spooky with all of these, these sort of knights, I guess, walking through, like this fog here. And the music is kind of spooky too. Oh, I can run through them. I'm not gonna lie, I thought they were gonna attack me because I saw so many bloodstains on the stairs, but I guess maybe they're just fallen, fallen soldiers. Kiln of the First Flame. Imagine if those are like all the Dark Souls players that have died just walking across continuously. That'd be pretty cool. Here. Oh man, this place is really cool. It looks really spooky, though. Good luck. <laughs> I guess if this is the final area of the game, I should probably be prepared for an area that is the final area of Dark Souls. So I got my same build I've been using for a while, my trusty Claymore. You know, I'm very excited to see what this area has got in store. Need bravery. Oh, I see something down there. Beanpole? Oh, beanpole? What? Okay, yeah, we have a knight there and some blood stains, but you know what? I'm ready for him. Oh, it's a black knight. Maybe we'll get another halberd. Can you get another halberd if you already have one? Huh. I don't know. Night night chunk. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I think there's another one over there too. <laughs> of course, the final area we put a bunch of uh, black knights as our kind of enemies for here. Oh, remember when it used to be hollows and how much I used to struggle and here we are now. Um, I do, however, think that this area probably wouldn't be as too bad now that we've kind of gone through the DLC and I think we are pretty high level so I'm not anticipating too many problems but obviously the final boss i'm nervous for i've been nervous for the final boss since probably the first time i played this game as soon as i saw that asylum demon i was like oh my goodness if this is the first boss if this is the tutorial i don't even want to know what the final boss is gonna be i wonder if this is kind of also part of like Lordran also used to be. It kind of reminds me almost of the DLC. You know that building that Artorius was in? Instead of this area being kind of consumed by the abyss, it just looks like it's consumed by darkness and spookiness, I guess. Path. Was this like a hidden path? Nope, nope. Just death. <laughs> Death everywhere. Okay, this looks like it's actually the right way. Yeah, I'm assuming the final boss will probably be in there. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. Small, narrow pathways like this. Suspended in the air. It, I'm. It's kind of giving me those bad memories I had. <gasps> and a black knight! Oh my god, no thanks. That's, that's not what I want. <laughs> I'm getting Duke's archives. Or sorry, I think it was called like Crystal Caves. I want to get a backstab on, on him, but I don't, don't want to fall off the cliff. 
Moin. This was so easy a minute ago. Why am I, why am I so bad? You know what? I do need to actually... Someone was reminding me that I need to work on my parries. I just... I don't think I've ever successfully parried in this game. And honestly, I feel like that is a skill I should have mastered by now, but I've refused to. Maybe I'll practice parrying <laughs> if there's other Black Knights around here. Or I could become the Black Knight. Oh, should I put on the Black Knight shield, Black Knight armor, Black Knight halberd? You know, final boss will have nothing on me. Okay, maybe we'll just run in case there's a Black Knight that's gonna pop out. So far, so good. Wait. Oh, <gasps> Solaire! Oh my god, it's Solaire! Oh yeah, I'm human. Yeah, we're just gonna spend the rest of this playthrough human. Oh, does that mean that the, the final boss is near? Be wary of miscreant. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what that word means, but I'm always wary in Dark Souls regardless. Okay, I think that's the final boss there. I think that's the final boss. Oh my god, I'm not ready for this. I don't want to do it. I don't want this game to be over, but... But again, there's there's so many more Souls games that I have to play, so I don't think it, my Souls journey will ever be over. Alright, so Lair, let's... Let's go. You've carried me since the beginning of this game, and I'm bringing you right to the end. Praise the sun, my friend. Praise the sun. Can I get that that emote for that move? Okay, come on, Solar. Let's go finish this. Let's save Lordrin. I've never known. Are these ghosts ones that have died, or are they the other players? Okay. Get out of here. Okay, don't you dare hurt my Solaire. I need all his strength for the final boss. <laughs> oh, look at that. We're such a good team. Black Knight Great Axe. Damn! Imagine just wanting a halberd throughout the entire game, and then right when you get to the final boss is when you get it. Holy shit, there's so many Black Knights. There we go. Okay, my backstabs are on point. Okay, Solaire, calm down. <laughs> See, Solaire? Wait, I got another halberd? That's fucking awesome. I got two halberds now. That's great. Good luck. Alright, let's see if there's any, like, little... Is this a hidden path? No. Okay, Solaire, don't, don't. Watch your step. Watch your step. I don't, <laughs> I don't want you to fall off a cliff. Oh, man, we're already here. Try parrying. Well, yeah, I've been told that, but... Can you parry bosses? There's no way. No, I've never... I don't think I've ever tried parrying a boss. Try parrying! Okay, is this just you guys leaving these messages here for me to see? So I could practice my parrying? <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I've tried backstabbing bosses too before and that hasn't worked, but... I mean... We got all the time in the world. Alright, let's... Solaire, let's go, let's go for this final boss. Win, Lord of Cinder. Oh, this music is so pretty. What the heck? Can I? <laughs> he just kicked Solaire! Oh, he kicked me too. Alright, you know what? I'm down to make this playthrough a little bit longer. I'll try parrying him if that's what the messages are saying. But I can't seem to get his attention. All eyes are on Solaire right now. Okay, none of that worked. So let me try. Okay, that, that didn't work. No, maybe maybe pairing isn't for me. Maybe if I actually tried throughout this game, but I, I didn't do that enough. I know some of the other Souls kind of games were um 
we're very focused on parrying, but... Oh, <gasps> there goes me! Solaire, I want the final hit. I don't know who got that one there, but I hope it was me. <gasps> oh man, that, that went by way too fast. sunlight metal oh man you know what I love Solaire but that fight definitely wasn't as dramatic as I think it could have been if I went in alone but you know what I feel like this boss regardless would have been a lot easier considering how high of a level I am kind of coming into this post DLC especially you know what? it's okay I'm just happy to have spent my final moments with Solaire the final boss. That went by way too fast. I'm I don't I'm not ready to say that I've I've killed the final boss in Dark Souls. Dark ahead. I did it. Hope. Link the fire. Oh, that's not even saying light bonfire. That's saying link the fire. I want to go read all these other messages just in case that triggers something that that ends the game. Dark. Grief. Okay, I don't like what's going on over here because they're all saying dark and grief. So you know what? I think it's time that we can we can link the fire. Oh my god, we did it! Guys, I'm about to get emotional. Please just... I think I need a minute. Guys, I'm just warning you right now. I'm about to start getting really, really sappy. Because I've been playing this game for I don't know how many months. And... I'm not going to lie. And this is also not exaggerated at all. I feel like this game, Dark Souls, has made me a completely different person when it comes to games. And bear with me here. I think I've noticed it the most when, you know, you look at my first few videos in the series. And my god, I can't even watch maybe the first five or six videos because they were just so bad. I did not give a crap about the game. I did not take it seriously. Um, I pretty much hated it. And I was just super ragey the whole time. I didn't care for the lore. It was just pretty much a disaster. But I feel like I eventually got to a point in the game where I realized there was a lot more than kind of what meets the eye. And as soon as I kind of put in that little bit of effort, to kind of try and get everything I could out of it, that's when things changed. And Soulsborne, if that's the name of this kind of series of games from software um, made, I think that this, it's just, it was never anything I thought I would like. And even when I first started playing it, I, I kind of had a feeling I was gonna give up on the series. 
Um, many of you probably know this. I almost gave up on the series when I was in Blight Town. I remember I missed a couple weeks of uploading because it was just, I kept dying, I kept raging, I wasn't getting anywhere, but that is kind of where I feel like the point changed where I realized if I could kind of get through what was probably the worst part for me of the game, I could probably make it to the end. And, I mean, we did. I, I can't believe we did. I don't want this game to be over, but I think that's the reason I left a lot of stuff for my next playthrough, so I can't tell myself that the game is really over. And another way I feel like I've definitely changed is, <laughs> and I think some of you have actually called me out on this too. In those beginning videos, I definitely had some anger management problems with this game, but I feel like I've definitely learned to be a lot more patient and just kind of try to enjoy all the depths that came out of this game, you know? Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. all again right now <laughs> oh my god it's me really just threw us right into new game plus this is where it all started oh my gosh i can't believe i'm ending this episode with exactly where i where i started i'm sorry <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to cry. I've never cried in a video game. I've come pretty close a lot of times, but I genuinely feel like <laughs> I'm just so upset, but I'm so happy at the same time. I think, you know, this game, it was so punishing, but the satisfaction that comes after, it's just, it's so much. It's a lot to handle. But man, am I ever ready for New Game Plus. Now this is the part I've been dreading. It's officially time to end this series. It's officially time to end Dark Souls Remastered. And it is now time for a new series for the channel. I've definitely grown really attached to this, so as you can imagine, I, I just want to keep replaying this. But, you know... I'm going to be doing a poll, as always, for the channel so you guys can vote on which game you want to see next because I can imagine how some of you may be ready for a bit of a break from Dark Souls, but at the same time, you may be completely ready to get into Dark Souls 2 with me. So, not to spoil anything, I may or may have not already purchased Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. It is ready to be downloaded onto my PlayStation as soon as we give the game a go. Um, I will be including that in the poll, so if you are ready for some more Dark Souls like I am, please go vote for that. But if Dark Souls does not win and you kind of want a little bit more of a break from Dark Souls, we'll play a different game, but I can guarantee you once that one is over, we're gonna be going right into Dark Souls 2 because I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to go a long time without Dark Souls 2. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this series. Please know that I will be playing more Dark Souls on the side to keep my skills up, 
regardless of whatever game is next for this channel. So, I guess it's time now to end off this series. Sorry for being so sappy, but this game genuinely changed my life. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!